Hello, this is AJ, the male card maker. I'm going to start a new series on colouring with the Spectrum Noir colouring system, alcohol markers from Crafters Companion. And I've been using these for about a year and a half, two years. I've got two sets. I've got the old style pens, which are these, which I still keep on love. And I have now got the new next generation pens. For anyone not knowing the pens, they're a double-ended pen system. It's, it's got a chisel nib, one end, and a bullet end, the other. Now with this new next generation, you can take these chisel nibs out, if you just pop them out like so, and you can put in brush markers, which I haven't tried yet, but I will do and hopefully do a video. Just a quick explanation of the pens. They come in ranges of these 12 sets of 6, so you'll get these in this set, you get a set of pinks, purples, reds, blues, greens, browns, yellows, pale hues, turquoise, cool greys, warm greys, and essentials. Now, they do say if you bought them 12 sets of pens, you can colour anything you wish, and that's what I go with. So, any tutorials I do, for the most part, I will use the pens out of these 12 sets. But I um, have them all, which is 168. So once you've had these and you love these, there's four packs of 24s, which comes in uh, brights, pastels, darks, and lights. And they basically make up the other sets. So if you've got, like, in this set of blues, you've got BT 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 9. So you're missing 8, 6, and 3. Well, they will come in the other 24 sets, but you can use these to colour to your heart's content. Okay, so that's just about them. So they are an alcohol marker. They can be refilled, you can buy refills. So I just want to talk a bit about what to stamp on. I use Nina Classic Crest card. So the only card I use to stamp on is what Crafters Companion say is great for colouring because it doesn't soak up your pen. Normal cardstock uh, has like a pulp in the middle, even in thin cards. So what happens is when you colour your alcohol, it gets soaked into the card, it disperses as well so you don't get a good blend plus it sucks up the life of your pen. Using this card should you know, keep your pen life expectancy quite good plus also it, it, it keeps it, the ink on top so that you can, you can blend more. So that's the card stock I use. I do know there's others out there, Lecture Set do their own so I'm sure that will be fine but this is what I use. Nina Classic. Classic Quest card. To stamp with, because you're using an alcohol-based marker, do not use an alcohol-based ink pad, like such as the stays on. Because what happens is when you're colouring towards the line, that the alcohol pen will pick up the alcohol in the ink of the stamp, and it'll merge it and blend and bleed it together, and it'll, it'll just look a mess. So you have to use like a pigment base, like in the memento. Tuxedo black is what I use, but as long as it's you know, dyed pigment base, as long as it's not an alcohol based, you'll be fine. I do know the Distress Inks from Tim Holtz works rather well. So, also in your set, you'll get the blender pen. And I just want to talk a bit about, it's not for blending colours together, it's there for helping with effects. Also, making, if you make mistakes on a piece of work, it's really easy to um, get rid of the mistakes. I will um, just that to show you that now. So, what I've got here is a piece of ca yeah, Nina cardstock, and I've got an off cut piece. So, what I will do is just quickly stamp an image onto here for you to see. And I'm using the rocker blocks as well because I like the rocker blocks. So there's a stamped image. Let me turn that around so you can see. So say you're going to go in with a pink onto your image and you're colouring this heart and you've gone out the side. Okay? Just out the side there. Now people, you would have thought, oh, I've made a mistake, I have to get rid of that. Well, no, this is what the alcohol blender does. What you do is put another bit of Nina underneath and over the area, dab. Don't colour, just dab down with your pen. 
give that a little time for the ink to evaporate, or the, so I say the alcohol to evaporate, and you can go over again. What should happen is the pink has now gone through to that card underneath and pretty much got rid of that mistake. Now darker darker colours like a very dark blue you can do but it might take a little time going over and over and to a point where you might have to chuck it with a few lighter colours definitely. It's good for effects as well if it's just generally for correcting mistakes. So my intentions for these videos is to show you how to do colouring how I do it, how I learn, how I teach my ladies in the craft shops. Um, so I explained about the pens. Us hopefully following this video, I shall be colouring this image in. And if these two videos go really well, I, I will continue the series. So any questions, please comment. Um, I will get back to you, and um, hopefully see you again. Goodbye.